show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to Hidden Gems. Yes, this series is still going, despite the fact that I lost the Mario Kart collaboration and Pokey Pidge has decided to end That British Guy YouTube channel. As I have said previously, I am still making content for the rest of this month, so stay tuned. This channel isn't just going to completely evaporate overnight. Now in this series we have a look at some of the old classics that may have been forgotten about and also some more modern games that maybe didn't get the spotlight on them like they should have done. In this video we are looking at International Superstar Soccer Deluxe for the Super Nintendo. So what exactly is it? Released in Japan in September 95 and in Europe in January 96, Deluxe is the sequel to International Superstar Soccer and that is the game that is basically the precursor to the Pro Evolution Soccer series. As I'm sure you can probably guess, it is a football simulation game where you can play as a number of different countries. All of the players are completely unlicensed, but Konami made sure to kind of take the real life teams into consideration when putting together the various stats for the different positions and players that are included in each team. Now in the original you could compete in singles matches, a knockout cup, a league system, penalty shootout competitions and there were also various training modes and scenario challenges. Now as well as adding more teams into Deluxe there is also a short format system for the league and cup as well as the original versions. The training has been expanded and there are more scenarios included in the challenge system. Outside of these adjustments, the other main difference is the fact that now you are able to change your team's formation and setup system. In the original, each different team came with a fixed formation, and these did vary slightly, but if you wanted to play as a certain team but change your formation up, you were unable to do so. They have now made this possible. They have also added in other aspects, such as slightly adjusting the position of all your players and giving them specific roles within the team, as well as including a man-to-man -man marking system. Now these may sound pretty standard today, but at the time this wasn't done all that often. You may, if you were lucky, be able to slightly change your formation about a bit but International Superstar Soccer Deluxe gave you quite a bit of customization over your team. They also made the squad size significantly bigger. In the original game, you obviously had your 11 outfield players and four substitutes. In Deluxe, they have expanded this to nine substitutes and they have also made one of the substitutes a goalkeeper, something that we didn't have in the original game. Another addition in terms of teams was a whole set of all-star teams. In the original it was possible to unlock a world all-star team, but this disappeared as soon as you turned the system off. However, via a cheat code you are able to unlock six different all-star teams, but you are only able to use them in single friendly matches. These teams are a world all-star team, two different European All-Star teams, an African All-Star team, an Asian All-Star team, and a North and South America's All-Star team. This can easily be unlocked by using the second player controller at the opening credits and inputting the code R up down L X B left A right Y. If entered correctly, you will hear a dog bark sound. Why a dog bark, you ask? Well, that may have something to do with the other main cheat code in the game. If you input the Konami code, that is up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, again with the second controller, 
you will again hear a dog bark sound. When you then start up a match, the referee and the linesman have been replaced by dogs. And instead of the whistle going, they will bark at you. International Superstar Soccer Deluxe did receive release on the Mega Drive system in December of 96 and on the PlayStation in February of 97. And the series itself found its way onto the N64 and the PlayStation 2 not long after that. And as I said at the top of this video, is still going strong today in the form of Pro Evolution Soccer. The gameplay itself is fairly fluid, pretty easy to get the hang of as well, with obviously different types of kicks being assigned to the face buttons. When in walking mode the player's movement is pretty fluid, considering you do not have an analog stick, but when you go into a running mode you are very much moving kind of across eight axes. But the good thing is, so are the computer controlled players as well, so you don't really feel like you're at that much of a disadvantage. Unlike a lot of other games at the time, the player models are pretty large in this game, making it a lot easier to see even today, given the fact that the graphics have obviously not aged terribly well. But if you are able to play this on a smaller size screen, you can still very easily see what you are doing and it doesn't degrade the picture quality. Depending on your ability, there are five different difficulty settings and you can also adjust some of the rules of the game as you see fit, as well as the half length. All pretty standard options now, but they do have to start somewhere and this wasn't always the case with games at the time. All in all, this game is still a fun experience even today, and if you are able to track yourself down the multi-tap adapter, you can also plug in a third and fourth controller, and there are various permutations for the team setup. You can all play against the computer, or you can play against each other in a variety of different setups. So there we are, that is International Superstar Soccer Deluxe for the Super Nintendo. As I have said before, there will still be plenty of content coming up on the channel for the rest of the month, so stay tuned. But until next time, I have been that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.